Mr. Jordan <laughs> Walker. And he is six foot five, 220 pounds. He's only 20 years old. He was drafted in 2020 by the St. Louis Cardinals, round one, pick number 21 overall. And this is another guy that Ross, that he's been on your radar instantly. Like he, you were all over Jordan Walker. And I was like, ah, who's this? Who's this Junko? Yeah. And you were like, go look at him. Go look at him, Brian. And I did. And I was wrong again. So <laughs> obviously we missed 2020. So uh, in 2021, Jordan Walker was set in regular A and he had 99 at bats. He batted 374, hit six home runs on base percentage of 475 in 99 at bats. He got promoted to high A, had an, an extra 226 at bats. He batted 292, a 344 on base, and slugged 487 with eight home runs and 13 stolen bases. I think that's probably what popped out to me. Yes, I looked at the size. I looked at you know it, it, everything going on here, and I was like, where did these stolen bases come from? You got to be kidding me. So overall, 325 at bats, 14 home runs. 14 stolen bases, an average of 317, on base 388, slugged 548, and gets a call up to, to double A, which I didn't see happening. So he's 20 years old. He started at 19, right? Yeah. See, he, he started the year at 19 years old at double A. Very quickly turned to 20, but had 461 at bats, right? He batted 306 with an on base of 388 and slugged 510. Had 19 home runs and 22 stolen bases. 31 doubles. So just turn five of those into an extra five home runs. You got 24 home runs. My goodness. Jordan Walker to me, came out of freaking nowhere. I didn't see it, and Ross was all over it. Ross, what do you got on Jordan Walker? I mean, looking at this profile, it kind of reminds me a little bit of what we talked about with Curtis Mead. This guy is just a hitter. He's just a hitter. What's surprising about it, though, is he steals a lot of bases. I don't – I. I, we have to put a we have to bake a little projection into this. I think when we're talking about Jordan Walker, because he's clearly a hitter. He's done it everywhere he's been so far. But I think he's got more power than we're even seeing so far in his career. Yeah. And given his size, that should not be a big surprise. I don't think the stolen bases are going to be there quite as much as they are now. Yeah. But he's got some speed there. And that's maybe the he's difference. crafty. That's yeah, the big maybe. difference between him and like a Curtis uh -huh. Mead is he's got some speed. And he's maybe a slightly better hitter. It's very close, though. Slightly better. I am really excited for this guy. I think he's one of the top prospects in baseball. He should be a top 10 prospect everywhere. And if he's not, then there's something wrong. He's... Very talented player. Scout the stat line gives him out of everybody from okay, the third, third base, base ranks okay. that we talked about tonight. He's got the best hit tool for his scout grade equivalencies at 65. Now, I think scout the stat line is even a little low on him when it comes to some when it comes to his power tool. He's got major league average power according to them and this is where i was saying the projection has to come in this guy's a big guy yeah. and he's known for his power even though he's not really hitting with it right now i think he's gonna have a lot of power and that's not to say he's not hitting with it because he he hit 19 home runs that's not like a small amount but i think there's more in there i think this is like a floor is probably 30 home run power at peak. And then you get into the stolen bases, the, the less predictable 
part of this. I don't think it's going to be a big part of part of his game, but like if he was stealing 10 bags, that wouldn't terribly surprise me. Yeah. Do you think we see Jordan Walker in the pros in 2023? I think we, we could see him get a taste potentially. I think a cup of coffee, possibly. Anything outside of that is abnormal. And if he were to move up early, very early, then you better be on top of this guy because he's going to be a superstar. That's what that's telling you. If he's up really early, if he breaks camp with them, you throw everything you have at trying to get this guy, minus your super superstars that you already got if you have any you throw everything to get this guy because he's going to have a huge career if that happens so that's big news if 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 he breaks camp if he breaks camp yes like does you have to have him you have to have him if, if he breaks camp does he win rookie of the year Yes. If he breaks camp, it means that they're seeing something very special here. If he's called up very early, I would say probably the same situation for you. He better go get him. If it's later on in the year, okay, you can cool your jets a little bit. You know, you don't have to be so hot on the trail. But I think I think he could see a taste at the end of the season in a normal trajectory. He could see a taste or else we'd be looking at 2024. Scout he, the stat line says he's going to be up next year. So any concerns in the profile? No, no real weaknesses. Good. He's got a very solid all-around profile yeah is there anything that you would pick out brian i don't see a whole lot i think at double a he was challenged a little bit there he's you know 20 years old i think you saw the strikeouts rise a little bit but like i don't think it's anything concerning i think it's looks very nice to me i agree across the board and solid consistency too as far as your personal rankings go, where do you put Jordan Walker? He's easily top five for me. I don't know if I know precisely where I'm going to put him yet. (laughs) After we go through all of these conversations, I'll probably place all my guys, but I think right now he's top five. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and of course, visit our website, scoutthestatline.com for more.